I always knew I'd get back into model airplane flying again, but I wasn't sure when. When I started working at the city of Winona, I met a guy that was into RC car racing. He sold me a used RC10 car. I raced cars on a carpet track and then a packed clay track for a couple of years. On occasion, I would win in the novice class, but I never got real serious about it. Since I was invested in RC equipment again, and the racing had ended in Monona, I decided to buy a new RC system for model airplane flying. I joined the local model airplane club and tried to fly without help the first time after 10 years. I crashed in the top of a tree on the first flight. After that, I had help for the first few flights before the skill came back. When I joined the Winona Aero Modelers, the club flying field was 10 miles into Wisconsin. The club field was moved to the top of a hill near Winona on land owned by the county. A great deal of work was needed to make the field suitable for flying. Being on the top of a hill, the wind could make flying tricky. For many years, the Winona Air Modelers had a wonderful fun fly event at the Winona Airport. Modelers came from clubs 100 miles away or more. Really some impressive planes such as turbine-powered jets and multiple engine scale planes. I told Floyd about wanting to try RC soaring and he sold me an electric-powered sailplane and gave me another sailplane that I launched from a high start. Floyd had other sailplanes and we flew together often on Saturday mornings. I also found a group of guys in La Crosse, Wisconsin flying sailplanes and I flew with them also. After getting back into RC model airplane flying again, I purchased almost every major brand of RC system. I also joined the MRCSS Model Sailplane Club and was introduced into slope soaring. One time we were flying in wind over 50 miles an hour. Matt Bowman, the designer of the JW Flying Wing, is DSing my JW for the first time. The winter of 2001, Al Nephew and I traveled to Arizona for a large thermal duration contest, the Southwest Classic. There were about 200 pilots, but maybe about 15 in the 2-meter class that Al and I flew in. At the end, it came as a real surprise that I was third and received a trophy mug. As I got better at RC thermal soaring, I tried RC hand launch sailplanes. Throwing overhand, it did not get very high, but it was possible to catch low-level thermals and climb to altitude. For several years, I went with lacrosse guys to Madison for a yearly contest. I built an Allegro Light 2-meter sailplane designed by Dr. Mark Drella. Building the wing that is sandwiched between balsa, carbon, and Kevlar was a challenge, but I completed the build and it flies great. I found a small ridge to practice dynamic soaring. The spot does not work well for foam gliders like my super scooter, but it's pretty good for fiberglass gliders. At first I could only make a few circuits but with practice, I was able to do over 100 continuous circuits. Dynamic soaring is flying the calm side of a slope with a sharp bridge and getting energy by flying through the boundary layer between the wind coming over the ridge and the calmer air on the back side of the hill.